There's an old Southern saying, no matter how much I love you, my son or my daughter, if I don't have wisdom, I can only give you my own ignorance. We pass down bad habits from generation to generation. That, it's important to understand, good intentions are not enough. Education is king. The ultimate poverty eradication tool today is education. There's a need for a movement that it consists of a number of good, good and well-intentioned and capable organizations and entities and people who see this issue of financial literacy for what it really is. It is the first rung on the ladder of economic freedom. In April of 2006, the California Society of Certified Public Accountants held a statewide summit on financial literacy. The program gathered together national leaders and financial experts to help raise awareness of the growing financial crisis affecting Americans at an alarming rate. You know, what's interesting about today was the, the passion throughout the room. 500 attendees, they're all there for the same reason. They all know there's a crisis in the country and they all want to do something about it. I think what we learned today is that the problem of financial literacy is tremendously vast. Um, but we also learned today that we have a lot of hope. We've got legislators, we've got educators, we've got CPAs, we have a very diverse group of people. I think what we're wanting to do is to get the word out that it's very important to, to focus on personal finance in a way that is realistic and that the more people that understand what that is, uh, the better it will be for California. It's very easy to overspend if you take cash advances from your credit card and use it to supplement your income. If you're never doing a budget, you don't really understand that you're spending more than you're making. The average American now spends $1.25 for every dollar that they make. And I would venture to say that most people that overspend don't really realize that they're in over their heads. I think a lot of the problems stem from the lack of education about how to use money. Some of the basic concepts about money management, whether it's balancing a checkbook or using a bank or understanding what a credit card is and how much that really costs you, there's no place for people to go learn that. Kids that really have no idea what the repercussions are are inundated with credit card applications and don't realize that they're going to be paying over 20% if they miss a payment. The fact that more kids drop out of college because of financial problems rather than grades is very disturbing. I knew somebody that gets a lot of financial aid, he bought a new car, he put the rims on his car and he didn't pay his tuition on time. There's something wrong with that. There's something wrong with that in investment choice. You, you couldn't in a previous generation go out and put yourself in the type of debt because nobody would loan to you. Now with the available credit, this is why the education element of personal finance is so important because people are now being asked to make more informed choices. We've been now in the community, but now we've also made some partnerships that are going to be very beneficial to us and to everyone in our state. Over the years, CPAs have been seen as a pillar in their community for a variety of functions. They may serve on a school board, they may be the coach of a team. That expertise can lend itself to so many different causes. Well, the cause we need to focus on now is financial education. It's a way they can add new value to an old position. And something funny about financial education, for some people it's a foreign topic. Well, people like foreign topics addressed by familiar faces. So if they know this accountant has an office a block up the road, they're more likely to trust them than maybe even some website or some toll-free number that they've never dealt with before. So that familiarity with the community is key to getting the message across. It touches all of us. So we all own the problem. My call to CPAs is this is a chance for us to give back to the community with something we know very well. It's our second language. We can give back to the communities and really make a difference.